Hello friends, in this video, I will give a walkthrough of WordPress database and how the WordPress content saved in the WordPress database. What other tables are installed by default when you install a phrase WordPress. Okay, but before that, I will just give a walkthrough that there are, uh, uh, I have imported WordPress uh, theme unit test data, which used by the theme developers to testing their themes with the different types of content and the layout. Okay, so I have installed that and with that uh, unit test data, I, I got some uh, post uh, with the uh, default categories and tags. You can also see a categories here, uh, the tags, the uh, list of medias are imported. Then a couple of uh, more pages have been installed, which we can use for testing purpose. Um, there are comments imported, okay, with uh, comments on various posts. Um, then uh, during the setup, I have already uh, have a default users okay and there are some settings uh, uh, which i have set up uh, like site address url site title and the date format and everything okay now let's see how this uh, data stored in the wordpress database so if you see here in the i have i'm using the sql as uh, applications which is native application for the mac os okay so these are the list of the tables i have installed here and there are 12 tables okay so uh, if you start from uh i will start with a wp options table but before that there is a prefix called wp underscore okay so this prefix used uh, by the wordpress so this prefix defined in the wordpress config file so in the i'm using visual studio code editor um in the uh, i have opened entire wordpress installation in the wp config.php file if you scroll down there is a table prefix variable which have wp underscore and this table prefix uh, with the user table prefix you can have multiple installation in one database if you give each a unique prefix uh, and prefix should have only numbers letters and underscores okay so in some of the hosting if you already have a single uh, database and you don't you don't have multiple database and if you want to install multiple wordpress installations then you can install with a different prefix okay so default prefix is wp underscore so in the in the database you can see uh, there are 12 tables comments uh, comment meta comments links options post meta post term relationship term taxonomy term meta terms user meta and users and we will go through a uh, one by one so let's start with the wp options table where our all the site settings have been stored so if you see here in the in the settings in the general we have site title tagline which is empty then WordPress address URL, site address URL, the admin name address URL. So all these settings stored here. So this is a site URL, then home URL, then blog name, blog description, or the admin email address. So what are the settings are there in a WordPress? All the settings saved in this WP options table. Okay. Now there is a another field. There is a, a option ID, option name, and option value. So this is uh, all the options saved in the name value pair. And there is a, another field called auto load. So which have only two uh, two values, uh, yes or no. So what is the use of this auto load field? So if this auto load field for particular option is yes, that means whenever the WordPress load or whatever the request coming to the WordPress in uh, particular request serve, all the options with the auto, uh, auto load yes uh, will be loaded by the WordPress by default. Okay, so when you want to, when you need a specific options, then it's already fetched by the WordPress and from the global variable all options that will uh, that variable will be uh, options will be used so th at that time no need to make a database query for just to sp uh, uh, get that particular option value okay and if it's auto load is uh, values no then those options will not be auto load by the WordPress but there is a uh, some uh, disadvantages also so for example if there are multiple options like more than 100 or 200 or maybe 500 with the auto load yes then all of those options uh, will be uh, loaded by the wordpress on each and every request which will make probably site slow so uh, as a developer we have to make sure that whatever uh, uh, settings we have same like for example if you are developing a plugin or if you are developing a theme and you want to save some plugin settings and theme setting then make sure that if your settings do not need it for each and every request then when you update the options when you call the options functions like add options update options 
make sure that you pass the auto load no so that those uh, plugin settings or themes options will not load it on each and every request only uh, update or use auto load yes when your particular theme or plugin settings needed on each and every request okay so this is the use of the auto load now uh, go back let's go to the uh, wp post table so here in the workplace uh, in my local setup i have installed various posts so what are the posts so uh, these are the default blog posts or you can say articles which display in the front end and there are uh, this called the post types so there are different post types so default post then media then pages okay uh, these are the post types so all these post informations including media and pages saved into uh, the wp post table if you have registered a custom post type which you will learn uh, further in the wordpress development uh, those custom post types information also saved in this wp post table so in post table you can see the id post author post date let me just open the structure here which will have a proper so id post author post date the date gmt so in post date will be used uh, the post date uh, based on the time zone selected in your wordpress setting so here in a wordpress settings if you go to the general you can see here time zone okay so whatever the time zone selected here in that time zone a uh, date will be saved into the post date and then post date gmt which will uh, save the post date uh, for uh, in the uh, global uh, time zone okay so when you uh, create a post then this will be uh, will be added then post content which will save your all of the post content the title post title then excerpt excerpt means is the brief summary of your post and post status there are various post status like uh, publish draft pending okay uh, then revision uh, schedule for uh, sorry future for scheduling your post uh, then there is a comment status which will says whether the comments uh, needs to open or close for a particular post then ping status post password if you want to if you are making your post private or password protected then you can add a password and that password will be saved in this uh, uh, field then post time this is the post slug uh, used for the url purpose okay then to ping ping then post modify and post modify gmt so this uh, uh, whenever the post modify then these two fields will be updated based on the uh, time zone selected in the global time zone then post content filter post parent uh, if your uh, post types is uh, hierarchical for example the pages in the wordpress is hierarchical so those post parent will be set here then guid menu order a post type uh, what are this post particular which is belong to the post type okay so this post type uh, and post mime type this used for attachment and then come and come how many comments are added or approved uh, for that post okay so if you go here in the content you can see here so let me just uh, uh, filter by the post type first and see what are the content here so i will just default uh, i'm just uh, selecting a default post okay and these are the content you can see here so all the content which you can see in the post you can see it here okay so for the example there is a hello world so this post id is the one okay so um here is the post uh, id uh, let me just uh, sorry um, yeah so this is the post id one you can see post title hello world then what are the post content added uh, the post content you can see here then it's a post status publish uh, comment status is open so in the front end when this hello world a post will be visited the comment will be uh, either comment form will be displayed if it's comment status is open then when this post modified that url and everything okay and there is a one comment also added on this post so there is a, a comment count one so these are the way um, the post will be saved okay if you can see here our uh, pages so uh, you can just go refresh with a page okay so we are filtering the post type page and you can see here in in the pages pages are the hierarchical post type so you can see the post parent as well so you can see the here that this is the particular post is parent of 1725 post id okay so you can see a parent and default post is a non-hierarchical post type okay and for the media we call that attachment post type so here in the attachment post type so here there is no post status for attachment by default is an inherited post status okay um, and these are the same similar ways your uh, attachments data will be said like post type attachment and what are the what is the mime type of that uh, post type so like mpg jpg uh, uh, if it's a video then a video uh, type then if it's a gif then image slash gif okay so these are the uh, post information saved now in the post meta table 
these are the post meta this is a meta information of post for example you can see here wp attest file so this is the uh, uh, meta uh, meta of the attachment post type which is a 6 11 okay so if you go here in the media let's go to this edit okay and uh, let's see uh, i am just updating here what was the 611 okay so i am just going to 611 post so this is the image okay and you can see here the meta information of the image so all this meta information coming from the post meta table so these are the attachment metadata which is uh, our stored in the serialized format okay and this is the wp attest file so all the uh, all the images saved in the uploads directory okay so this is the relative part we, uh, within the uploads directories and wordpress stored your media uh, in the year month folder okay so this is the attest file and these are the post meta uh, uh, post uh, meta information of each and every post okay so this is the way how the wordpress meta uh, post meta information say like if you want to like in the wordpress you can also develop a custom meta boxes and which will uh, allows you to add a custom meta information for your default posts or pages or attachment or maybe for the custom post types okay so in the post meta table all the post meta information will be saved thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress